Hi, I'm Exo. This video is going to be about merging my projects into a single project. There's a lot of confusion out there. I have previous videos on merging. When you start the setup, it asks you if you want to merge. There is a post on my Discord forum about merging. And over the years, there is some conflicting information. So I wanted to make a new merge video that's super simple and works in any scenario. Now, there is the auto merge. Auto merge is what you're prompted about when you first run setup. The problem with auto merge is it only works on my newer projects. It fails with Exoscum VM, and I believe it has problems with my Exo Win3X as well. So it's not the um, most reliable. The Exo, Exo Apple 2GS project tried to use its own merging system, and it never panned out, so it's a leftover. The process I'm going to talk about today will work with any of the projects, no matter how old or how new they are. The only prerequisite is that you've already installed the project. So let me go ahead and come over here and I'm going to pull my screen up. And you can see I have Exodus installed. If it's not installed, you only have two folders. You have content and Exo, and then you have a setup file down here and the manuals. You can see here it's installed. I've also installed ExoDream and ExoWin3X. We're gonna merge these three projects today. Now, it's really simple. Let's pick Win3X to start. We're gonna get five different folders. We're gonna come down starting from the bottom. I'm gonna use Control so I can uh, select multiple at one time. So I'm gonna Control and I'm gonna click Videos. I'm going to get Music, Manuals, Images, and Exo. Those are my five folders. From the top down, EXO, Images, Manuals, Music, and Videos. Uh, in my case, I'm going to cut them. If I cut them, uh, I don't have to duplicate all that space on my drives. Now, keep in mind, that means you will not be able to run EXO Win3X by itself anymore. That's okay for me. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to hit Cut. I'm going to go to my root folder for Exodus, the same one where you run LaunchBox from, or Setup File. I'm going to right-click in there, and I'm going to Paste. Hey, I've already got some folders with the same name. That's okay. I'm going to say yes for all folders. There we go. It's going to think about it for a little bit, and it's going to say you've got some files that are the same name. That's okay, too. In the images folder, you have things like platform icons and badges. These are all files that every copy of LaunchBox has. They're duplicate. They're okay. We can replace them. Now, you can still see these projects even if you do this, as long as you also copy the content folder over. At that point, you'll have everything you need to seed. For this case, though, we're not worried about seeding. The only other thing we have to do now is go to the data folder. In data, I'm going to start by going to platforms. And I'm going to grab the win3x.xml. I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to paste it. Now I'm going to drop back and go to playlists. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab these two playlists. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste them. You'll notice here we have a playlist called Retro Learning Pack. The Retro Learning Pack is one of the projects we offer on the website. Uh, I released it shortly after COVID started, when lockdown went in and my kids couldn't go to school. A lot of people's kids, if not everyone's kids, could not go to school at the time. They were bored, they were sitting around the house, and I thought, wow, you know, if I had a way to pare down just the educational games in my packs, that could give them something to work on. You know, there's no legal way to get to the original Oregon Trail or where in the whatever is Carbon San Diego, space, time, U.S., Europe, Michigan, <laughs> wherever she is, they're in there. The uh, Magic School Bus games that run Win3X, they even put things like Encarta, the multimedia encyclopedia is in there. Now, because it is a subset of titles that are already in ExoDOS and ExoWin3X, it is not a project that I plan to maintain. As a matter of fact, I will likely end up pulling it eventually and just making a wicked page about what it was. Because if you get these, if you get Win3X and DOS today and you install both of them using a merge like we just did, then you can pick the Retro Learning Pack playlist when you're inside LaunchBox and you'll see the exact same games that you used to be able to pick if you downloaded the Retro Learning Pack. The benefit to doing it this way is the games have been updated. They run smoother, they run better, they've had bugs fixed. Whereas the RLP back in the day has not had those things done to it. At this point, we're gonna do one more thing. We're going to go back to the main folder. We're gonna to go to plugins and we're gonna go compare the plugins. 
See how this one is 6 kilobytes and this one is 16? Bigger is better in this world. You can look at dates, but dates can be misleading because they can be not when they were made, but when you extracted them. Uh, you know, zips can modify them. All kinds of stuff can modify them. So saying get the newer one is difficult, but get the bigger one because the bigger one is the newer one. If by chance you happen to have this plugin in this folder, it's older and a lot of functionality we've added will not be in there. Now at this point we can drop back out and we're going to go to ExoDream and do the exact same thing. How many folders are we going to copy? Five! Five folders! Yes, that's right kids, good job. <laughs> we're going to grab videos, we're going to grab music, manuals, images, exo, right click, cut, right click, paste, all items, yes, let it go. Are you sure? Yeah, replace them all. We're done with that. Now we're going to go to the data folders. Come on, move out of the way. What are you thinking? I'm faster than you. Platforms. Copy dream. Paste. Go to playlists. Copy installed games. Paste. Now we're going to check the plugins folder. Yeah, where's that? Pause themes, plugins. This one is the same date, same size. We're good on that one. Um, nothing's changed between ExoDream and ExoDOS version 6, so I knew that would be all right. At this point, everything's merged. It's done, ready to go. There's one caveat. You see, in the data folder is something else called parents and platforms. The platforms folder defines which platforms have already been set up. Now, if it doesn't have a platform defined in it, when you start LaunchBox, like we're going to, it does not have ExoDream in it right now. So we're going to start LaunchBox up. ExoDream will not be there. And that's okay. Because the way LaunchBox works, see, we got, it knew about Win3Xs that came up before. But it does not have Dream in here. That's all right. We're going to start it. We're going to wait a second. And we're going to close it. Now we're going to give it about 10, 15 seconds to take what's in memory and write it to disk. That should be enough. Launch box start. Show me that dream, baby. And there it is. That's all you got to do after merge. Now give it a second. There it goes. It's all right there. Now, for those of you who don't know about ExoDream, I encourage you to go back and check out my recent video I did on it. It's an amazing emulator. Uh, but now we've got Win3X. We've got ExoDOS. We've got the Exodus playlists. We have got the media pack add-ons here. So we've got soundtracks, books, catalogs, and magazines. It's all here. Now, what if, what if we want Win3X and Dream to both be under computers? Super simple. Right-click on it. Go to Edit. Go to Parent. Check Computers. Uncheck Root. Okay. Let's do it with Dream, too. Edit. Parents, computer, uncheck root. Now, under computers, there it all is. We have Dream, MS-DOS, and Win3X. Easy peasy. That is all being saved. Under data, you have parents, and that's all right there. So once you have saved that, if you move that file to any other copy, you'll keep all your parent stuff that you've done in LaunchBox. Now, you'll notice MS-DOS has an icon. Windows does not. Dream does not. Why? Because LaunchBox includes platform icons for a series of basic platforms. Windows 3X and Dream are not in there. Now, I have included icons for them, but you will only see them if you have a LaunchBox license. At that point, it enables them. Uh, other things you get with a LaunchBox license are uh, ability to see our preview videos. Every game in Dream has a preview video. You can click on the game and a video will play. Thank you. Uh, now, you only see those preview videos in Big Box, I believe. I think there might be a theme or two for a regular LaunchBox that can play videos. But again, to change themes, you got to have a license. Now, one other licensing is... You'll notice under Win3X, some games have gray boxes on them. Nothing went wrong with your import. These games did not have boxes. They weren't released with boxes. So I didn't upload box covers for them since they didn't have box covers. 
Now later, with Exodus version 6, I went ahead and I put covers on the games that didn't have boxes because it made it look so much better. This screen without boxes, gray, 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 gray. That's a lot of gray, right? There's a lot more freeware, homebrew, DOS games. So because of that, uh, I went ahead and assigned the title screen as the cover. Now you can do that with a LaunchBox license your, yourself. If you have a license, you can go in and you, if you have the Win3X pack, you can say under settings, when a cover does not exist, use a different image and it lets you pick what image that is. So you can pick title screens. Now the next version of Win3X I put out, it will have title screens in place of games that don't have covers. That's something I've decided to do because not a lot of people have a LaunchBox license, but uh, a lot of people do complain about the gray boxes. They think something went wrong. They think that I messed up. Uh, but no, 3D pumpkin puzzles just never came in a box, guys. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it was very easy to merge all this together. You can do the same procedure I've shown you today with ExoScum VM, Exo Apple 2GS, um, any other project I release in the future, any other project I'm forgetting about right now, they all merge the exact same way. If you have questions about your merge or you run into technical problems, you have a lot of resources. You could leave a comment here on the channel, but it's really hard to do tech support in the comment section of a YouTube video. Believe me, I've tried quite a few times lately. Not easy. You're welcome to try, and I'll try my hardest. You can email me directly. My email is on my website at www.retro-exo.com. My uh, website is also in the description of this video below. At my website, there is also links to my wiki the wiki.retroexo.com, uh, which documents all this stuff. Invite to my Discord channel, which is where the best place to get help is. We have a help channel there with a lot of helpful people. So even when I'm asleep, yes, I have to sleep sometimes too. They will be there to help you out with your questions. And if you search the forums, there's a good chance someone else has already had your problem and it's already been solved. And you can just read the fix and there you go. But I'm still, we are still happy to help you if you don't see your problem or if you're just not sure if it's the same as somebody else, make a post in the help section and we will get you. With that, thank you for watching the video. Thank you to everyone who's been donating to the project. It makes a difference. There is a game that we have been looking for for years. Uh, it was a, a reading game voiced by Howie Mandel and the name of it's escaping me right now. Uh, there is no reference to it online for the most part, but we knew it existed because we had the writing adventure that matched up with it, but or the math adventure, but not the reading one. It finally popped up on uh, eBay last week using donations from, uh, very recent donations from everyone. I pulled that money together and I bought the game. We now have found a game that's been missing. It's unarchived, it's undocumented, and it's a major commercial release for uh, Windows 3X. There are hundreds of commercial games for Windows 3X that were never archived, never documented. And unfortunately, when they come up on eBay, they're usually quite expensive. Every dollar that is donated to the project goes towards acquiring these games. This is my, this is my hobby. This isn't what I do for work. This isn't how I make my money. I have a full-time job during the day that I make my money from, not here. There will be a physical copy of Exodus version 6 coming soon to the, my uh, Etsy shop. Yet again, all proceeds from that go towards our fund to support the project. And to be very, very clear, I do not sell these games. If you buy Exodos, you're not buying these games. I don't include the games. You're getting a box. You're getting a manual. You're getting a catalog. You're getting uh, a registration card that has fun stuff on it. If you buy certain tiers, you get a signature. I've made pins in the past, enamel pins. I've made stickers. Uh, I've looked at patches, all kinds of stuff. You're getting a box of goodies. It's a professional quality box, 24 uh, point card stock. It's thicker than anything I've gotten off any of my Kickstarters, even from professional companies. If you look at my reviews, I've sold everyone. They're all five stars. Every single one says, wow, the quality is amazing. It very clearly though says, there are no games included. Now there is a supporters version that comes with an external hard drive that is pre-labeled to put your packs on once you receive it. Um, that is 
again, not the gains. It's something to put them on, and it's got a nice casing that fits right in the box so that if you want to put all the stuff in the box, you can. The box is for collectors. It's not designed to sell the project to anybody. It's just for something to physically have to support the project. Uh, and so many of us grew up in a time when we had boxes that represented the things that we love. And to have boxes of Exodus on my shelf is something that means a lot to me and to a lot of other people too. Now, if you are in a place where you have trouble getting the project, if you need the files, if you can't find a way to download because your ISP, come to the Discord and talk to us and we will find some options for you, okay? Or email me directly. Just email me and ask me what to do about that and I will give you solutions. Um, but it's important to me to know, to let everyone here know. I get a lot of criticism online that I'm selling people's computer games. I don't sell games. Uh, what I sell is a box. My project is free. Anyone can download this project. There's no entry fee to get it. You go to retro-exo.com. You go to my project page. There's a torrent file for every one of these projects. You click download, you get them. There's no ads on my website. I don't monetize my YouTube videos. I'm not making money off this. That's important for me to, uh, to let everyone know. I don't like the misinformation out there. I don't like the judgment that I... You know, I respect these games. I respect the people who made these games. That's why I'm preserving them. You know, the guy, I've had developers reach out to me and say, hey, you've got a game that I wrote 30 years ago and you got it running. Can you send me a copy of that? I haven't played it in 20 years. Yeah, man, you got it. I'm so happy to do that. You know, so anyway, I, the point of that was thank you for everyone's support. I will have things in the shop very soon. Best of luck with your merging. Enjoy your games. Preservation through playability is my motto. I'm going to start saying that every video from now on because it is 100% important to me. It's why I do this. It's why I've spent 15 years doing this. Thank you again, guys. Good night.